Glad to have you with us for this head-to-head -head between the Jaguars and the Bengals. The Bengals. Playing on the road, always a difficult place to win. What does the traveling team have to do? Well, Gus, there's no question that uh, not only do you have to overcome a terrific football team, but you have to overcome one of the toughest environments in the National Football League. So emotionally, you almost have to Find your own energy on the field. The bench has to be alive. You have to be cheering for each other. You just have to create that raw emotion to overcome what the crowd is giving you on the other side. All right, Chris, with that in mind, it's game time, and we've got two teams really ready to rumble. So now the quarterback comes onto the field, and in conversations with him earlier in the week, he mentioned that he really wanted to get going early and get into a rhythm. Let's see if he can do just that. Going down the middle with it. The offense is a group that prides itself on running the football and carrying the load is the electrifying mojo. Maurice Jones drew out of UCLA who has a knack for finding the end zone. Yeah, you're exactly right, Gus. Maurice Jones drew is a touchdown machine. He has that low center of gravity that makes him so tough to bring down. Plus, he's got great acceleration, so when he gets into the open field, he's tough to catch. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. And we'll have a first down in 10. Here's a pass over the middle. And as we spotlight some of the key defenders on this squad, Leon Hall, out of Michigan, has quietly become one of the best CBs in the NFL. Yeah, and the ultimate compliment for a cornerback is when you're covering the other team's best guy and they don't throw in his direction. Leon Hall could have twice the number of interceptions, but really teams don't throw his way. Brian Rabisky was the intended receiver on the play. Yeah, but you have to be careful making that throw. Sometimes those are easily intercepted. He did a good job getting out of there, but that throw was dangerous. He's knocked out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Isn't that pretty when it happens like that? And it looks so easy during the course of a ball game, but you can't imagine how many hours of practice go into executing a screenplay perfectly like that. Throws to his left. If you can make a quarterback move his feet, if you can make him a little uncomfortable, the timing of those deep routes are just thrown off. They pitch it. Jukes away, and he will be tackled. Yeah, the offensive line did their job. They created enough of a seam to get him up into the secondary, and then he was able to explode from there. He's going to his right. Throws. The attempted pick comes up empty, and it goes for a huge game. Yeah, he has a reputation for going after the ball aggressively, and sometimes he's going to get burned. You just have to hope that the safety has your back on a play like that. And that can't make the safety too happy, putting them on an island out there. Yeah, I guess, but it really kind of goes with the territory when you have an aggressive corner. I think most of the time a safety can respect that. Scobie is ready to kick this one off. Shipley is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And takes off from his own goal line. 
He brings it back to the 23. Miller was there to bring him down. And coming to the field, the quarterback, who hopes to lead this offense to victory in this game. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. It's first and 10. Dumps it out right. And let's take a look at some of the key players of this offensive unit who, as a group, hope to have a great game in this one. And Chrissy is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down, coming up. Taking the field is a defense that doesn't get a lot of attention, but is extremely solid, especially against the run. And it starts with linebacker Daryl Smith from Georgia Tech, who's a player starting to get the recognition he deserves. Yeah, he really has, and it's good to see because Daryl Smith is a good football player. He's great against the run, but has come up with some big interceptions in the passing game as well. And he's running with a purpose now. Oh, watch out! Dives into the end zone for a touchdown! How about that burst of speed to take it all away? That was fun to watch. Nugent ties the game on the extra point. Time winds down here in the first with the score. The Bengals, seven. The Jaguars, seven. Signals for the fair catch. The Jaguars. Ended their last drive with a touchdown, so they'll look to make it two in a row. He doesn't get back to the line. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Passes out to his right. And the pass falls incomplete. It brings up third and long. They'll need 15. Throws deep towards the left. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. Flag down. First time we've seen one today. He'll be stopped at around the 46-yard line. Receiving team. Mincy was there for the stop. First down. Boy, it's tough enough to try and stop an NFL offense, but when you give them extra chances, it is almost impossible. Benson on the run. He's brought down around the 45-yard line by Lawry. Between the tackles. He's wrestled down right around the 48-yard line by Lawry. On the play. Surveys the field. You talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why you establish the run and then you come with the play action pass. Just so hard to defend. Benson gets the ball. He's tackled at about the 17-yard line by Landry. Has a man short to his left. 
Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Coverage downfield. And the pass is incomplete. Still looking for an open man. And he's tackled around the 10-yard line by Trent. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. It's up, and it's good. Mike Nugent kicks it through to break the tie. Nugent looks ready to kick it away. Number 35 stands back to field the kick. He'll down it in the end zone. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. Searching for an open man in heavy traffic. It's a quarterback sack. 11-yard loss on the play. He's searching for a receiver. Uh-oh, watch out! West gains four yards with that reception. Looking for a man. Goes for it all! That incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. There's nothing more frustrating for an offense to come in and go three and out. That's just embarrassing. Tate starts his return way up at the 49. Greg Jones was there to bring him down. He's dropped down right around the 46-yard line by Smith. Short throw to the right. Paul Puzlesny was there for the stop. Green gains about five yards on the play. Throws middle of the field. It's loose. Fumble. Offense gets it back and dodges a bullet. It's not often that a fumbled ball bounces right back to you like that. That was just good luck. It's in the end zone for a touchback. Well, they're still down three, but that return will really help them get into position to either tie or take the lead in this one. Dumps it out left. Catches it, and he's dropped. That's a four-yard loss. Well, that gets a little embarrassing. Anytime you spend all week working on a play and it comes out like that, <laughs> giving the defense a little credit, but that was bad. Just gets it away. 
You bring a little pressure, and it impacts quarterbacks, and we saw it there. Goes through his progression. Probably a good decision to throw it away. He was in danger of getting sacked, but he did the smart thing and threw the ball away. And Gus, that awareness is something he's really known for. When trouble's coming, he has the good sense to get rid of it and take the loss of down rather than the loss of yards on a sack. And really, over the course of a game, this helps keep them out of a lot of second and third and long situations. Not to mention, keeps him from taking unnecessary shots as well. Gives it off. He didn't get back to the line. And as a quarterback, you have to start to recognize that. You just can't allow that safety to keep sniffing around that eighth man in the box and not throw the football. Essentially, they're daring this offense to throw it, and they're not taking advantage. Looks left. Here's a short pass. Cuts back, and he's dropped. Dalton makes his 30th catch of the season. Dalton hands it off. He's brought down around the 40-yard line by number 96. Here's the give. He's wrestled down right around the 40-yard line by number 55. Surveys the field. Watch out, he's got space. They can't catch him. Touchdown, Bengals. Jermaine Gresham was there for the 38-yard touchdown pass. Mike Nugent tacks on the extra point. Time winds down here in the first with the score. The Bengals, 17. The Jaguars, 7. Calls with a fair catch. The offense takes the field hoping to put something together after their last drive ended in a three and out. Jones Drew gets a handoff to the right. Gets to about the 21-yard line. Leon Hall was there to bring him down. Has a man out to his right. Lewis was his intended target. Looks to the right. He's going for it all. So the offense will probably head off the field after failing to convert for a first down on that series. Not a very creative sequence of play calling that time. They just never seem to get anything going on that drive. Tate fields it at the 40. He got everything he could, but there really wasn't much room. I'm sure the rainy conditions don't help the situation. They're going to pitch it. He's tackled around the 46-yard line by number 29. Gives it left side. You, know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want. But ultimately, this game comes down to one big man against another big man. And that time, the defense's big men, they won the battle. And we've come to the end of one with the score.
17. 7. Good coverage downfield. And looks left. Throws. Fourth down now after the incomplete pass. The offense wasn't able to get on track during the last series. And it really looked like the defense won the battle up front. The big guys controlling the line of scrimmage made the difference there. He'll take off from his 18. And the tackle was made by Manny Lawson. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. All he needs is one hand. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 24-yard line. No gain on that completion. Still looking for an open man. Geno Atkins makes it to him for another takedown, his second of the game. Searching for an open man. Knocks over a defender, and he's still going. Leon Hall was there for the stop. He's searching for a receiver. Here's the long bomb. He picks it off. Leon Hall comes away with his first interception of the season. Running out of time. Under pressure, he felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. Here's a halfback. The stop was made by Paul Pozlozny. It's a gain of three. Looking for a man. Scrambling away from the rush. Look out, heavy pressure on him. He's pushed out of bounds at the 14. Goes through his progression. Blackman was the intended receiver. Makes the throw over the middle. The pass is broken up. What a play. Has a man to his right. Chris, that was a pretty nice defensive stand. Really nice defensive stand. It just seemed that the defensive coordinator was inside the offensive play caller's mind that time. And he takes it at the 12. He stopped at the 24-yard line. Coleman was there to bring him down. He did a good job there, finding a seam and getting up the field. You know, a lot of people don't realize that being a punt returner or a kick returner is one of the toughest jobs in the NFL. There's a whole lot of things that could go wrong and only a few that can really go right. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line by Coleman. Presley catches it for a gain of five.
A burst of speed, and he's in the open. He's dropped down around the 44-yard line by Lawry. Surveys the field. Throws to his left. Knocked out of bounds at the 40. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. Dumps it out right. He lost yardage on the play. Loss of a yard on the play. Boy, that's just great anticipation by the defense there. They saw that play coming and were all over it. Get ready. Drop behind the line. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. Looks right, throws. Don't worry about it, and good enough for the receiver to pick up the first down. 21 yard gain on the play. Fakes the handoff. Looking to throw. Moves up in the pocket and down he goes. Good coverage downfield. He's brought down around the 12 yard line by Smith. Well, that's an example of a very good play against pressure. They were coming after him, but the quick throw beat him. Passes short right side. He's wrestled down at about the 11 by Cox. And the kick is good. I think the defense tried to get an early start there. Cincinnati is ready to kick this one off. Lawry is back to receive the kick. And he gets the ball at the five. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Jordan Shipley was there for the stop. Passes it deep on the left side. He drops the easy pick. Finds a hole up the middle. Leon Hall was there to bring him down. Maurice Jones-Drew really has a special sense of how a play is developing, and he knows the blocking assignments of those guys up front. You can just see it. He is very patient. He waits for it to develop and then takes full advantage. And when you get a wide receiver with that kind of talent on the outside, he is a threat to take it all the way on any play. Gabbert pitches out to the right. He doesn't get back to the line. Well, you know you've got an aggressive safety when he's making tackles for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Typically, these guys are trying to not give up a big play in the passing game. Now, when you see somebody in the backfield, <laughs> that's impressive. The ball is tipped away. Can't 
Still looking for an open man. It's tipped and falls incomplete. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. Takes the ball from the six-yard line. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. Or he's going to get killed. Pitch right. Six-yard pickup. Number 32 on the carry. Gain of six on the play. Fires a strike to the right. Makes the grab near the sideline, but no signal yet. He's tackled around the 34-yard line by Landry. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He gets to around the 42. Paul Puzlesny was there for the stop. Benson on the give. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line by Lawry. Searching for an open man. He goes down. Sack. The Jaguars will take their first time out of the half. <laughs> Throws deep towards the left. It's almost picked off. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. He'll take off from his 18. Kelly Jennings was there to bring him down. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards, you never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. And the tackle was made by Kelly Jennings. The Jaguars got a big play that time, and they need a whole lot more of that after beginning this game with a very pedestrian passing attack. That was good. He's searching for a receiver. Kelly Jennings was there for the stop. Gain of eight on the pass. Looks left. Here's a short pass. Kelly Jennings was there to bring him down. When you have a receiving weapon at the tight end position, it just makes it so much easier to pick up those little first downs. Looking for a man. Keith Rivers was there for the stop. The Jaguars are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. Under heavy pressure. Steps up and he's quickly sacked. Steps and throws to the left side. 
Jabril Wilson was there to bring him down. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look, and break off of it the next. Beautiful run. He's got it! Touchdown! This quarterback has a tremendous understanding of what this defense is trying to do to him. He's simply moving defenders around with his eyes and finding the open guy. He is really playing beautiful football right now. Jacksonville is just about ready to kick this one away. Tate stands back to field the kick. Let's see if the offense could put something together on this drive. Benson gets the carry, left side. Fumble, and the defense is going to come up with it. Well, the number one rule for a halfback is you have to be able to hold on to the football. All the statistics show you turn it over, and you're going to lose. Short throw to the right. is out to his right nearly picked off he should have had that one and he makes it and it looks like they may have run into the kicker here's the call the penalty is declined That'll be it for the first half of play. Our halftime score is 20, 17. Welcome back to Jacksonville. Cincinnati will get the ball to begin the second half. And it's fielded at the four. He makes it out to the 20. Number 29 was there for the stop. Give to the tailback. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Paul Pozlozny was there to bring him down. The coach can't be happy with him after that fumble. Priority number one has to be hanging on to the ball. Right, Chris? Yeah, I guess it's so true. No team wants to give their opponent the chance to get a takeaway on a fumble. And I'm sure the coach will have a few choice words for him. You can bet the next time he touches that ball, he's going to be hanging on tight. Has a man to his right. Flag on the play. He's dropped down Holding. right around the 44-yard line by Landry. And Repeat. it will come back. Second penalty down. on the offense. One thing we've learned about this defense, it's hard enough to move the football against them. You cannot help them with these penalties. Let's go. Hey. Has a man out to his right. Intercepted. Jermaine Gresham was there for the stop. And sometimes pressure is cumulative. Over the course of a day, over the course of a season, 
That pressure starts to get there. You rush a throw and you turn it over. Takes the snap, and he's in trouble. And I have to say, I'm not sure they'd be up in this game if it wasn't for his effort on defense. The quarterback's going to have to start changing up his snap count a little bit because right now we're seeing this defensive line getting off the ball faster than the offensive line. If he doesn't start changing it up, it's going to be a tough afternoon for him. Blackman was the intended receiver on the play. Goes through his progression. Steps up in the pocket. He's brought down right around the 20-yard line by Mawaluga. He splits the uprights. I had my doubts about that kick. Yeah, he just squeezed that one in there, didn't he? I'm sure he's going to be exhaling for about the next 30 seconds. He'll return it from the six. He makes it back to the 25. Dillard was there to bring him down. Dalton gives it up the middle. Sure doesn't look like he's running with the same explosiveness that we usually see out of him. Yeah, and I think that that fumble he had earlier has changed his approach. You can see him really trying to cover up the ball more, and you can't run like that in the NFL. Surveys the field. Can't make the catch in traffic. Boy, the quarterback has to be a better decision maker than that. There's no way he was going to get that one in. And looks left. Throws. Fourth down now after the incomplete pass. The offense wasn't able to get on track during the last series. Yeah, they just kind of looked out of sync from the very beginning there. And I thought first down really set the tone for that entire series. It looks like there's a penalty. Lowry fields it at the 29. He gets Holding out to the 45. The Johnson was there for the stop. First down. Well, the defense was out there battling on that one, but that was exactly the kind of break this offense needed. Dumps it out right. The stop was made by Leon Hall. Lewis picks up about five yards with the catch. Gabbert with the give. Number 32 on the carry. No game. Jones Drew takes a handoff. Number 32. And he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. Robert Gathers was there to bring him down. And he calls for the fair catch. There's a flag on the play. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. Coverage downfield. He's going to his right. Throws. The pass falls incomplete. Green was the intended receiver.
still looking for an open man. He's wrestled down around the 49-yard line by Landry. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. Dalton hands it off. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Flips it out short. Catches it one-handed. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line by number 55. They'll throw for the first. He rolls to his left. Watch out, he's got space. He just gave his team a huge lift with that carry. That's just getting it done. You can credit the offensive line all you want, but when you get a back in that third down situation that's able to break off a big one like that, what a lift it gives your football team. Passes short right side. Looked like he had it, but it's knocked loose. Takes it right side. And he's tackled around the 29-yard line by number 55. Searching for an open man. Brings in another one. They push him out of bounds, and now they have first and goal. That's a first down right there. Might want to play them a little tighter, maybe even go to the man coverage. Yeah, it's pretty tough to play a zone coverage against this quarterback. He does a great job in recognition, and that time you could see him move the zone defense just a little with his eyes before he threw it in there. Brought down behind the line. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, but that time he used his athleticism to make a big stop in the run. Benson takes the delayed handoff. He's dropped down at about the seven-yard line by Coleman. He's searching for a receiver. He rolls out to the right. He's pushed out of bounds at the five and a couple of yards on that pass. The kick is good. Mike Nugent nails it, and they'll grab the lead. Three-point game. Mike Nugent will be kicking off. Number 35 is back to receive the kick. And the tackle was made by Reggie Nelson. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. The stop was made by Robert Gathers. That's a two-yard gain. Gain of two on the play. Let's go. Gabbert flips it out. Defense pushes him out of bounds. At the 26-yard line. One yard gain on the play. Has a man short to his left. 
The Bengals came onto the field with a ton of energy that time. They controlled the line of scrimmage and didn't allow that extra yardage. Tate fields it at the 40. Benson, the ball carry. And you can see the running back there just saying, where are my guys? Where is my blocking? What's going on out here? Just need a little help from your friends. Fakes the handoff and scans the field. Short throw to the right. This weather is going to be a real problem today. And now you understand why they measure quarterbacks' hands at the combine. Bigger hands, obviously, a little easier to handle the ball in these kinds of conditions. Looking for a man. Scrambles away from defenders. He plays it safe and throws it away. The defense had their number during that last series as they go three and out. Well, you're going to have to gather the troops over on the sideline because whether it was poor play calling or poor execution, they never got anything going that time. The punt rolls into the end zone. Touchback. And now this offense will set up with excellent field position with a chance to cut into this lead. Throws to his left. He's brought down around the 27-yard line by Crocker. The tight end did a good job here selling the block and then going out into his route and making the catch for a decent gain on the play. Goes through his progression. And they get to him. Well, at least the play will only result in a two-yard loss. Well, it's becoming pretty obvious at this point that they're having trouble blocking this defensive line. Now you really don't have a choice. You have to go to more three- and five-step drops, get that ball out of there quickly. Play action. He's got time. And the tackle was made by Keith Rivers. Seems like the defensive pressure has him a little rattled out there, Chris. Yeah, I guess certainly seems that way. He's been quick to tuck and run rather than sitting in the pocket and finding the open man. No question about it, but it's got to be hard to be comfortable in that pocket when it keeps collapsing around him. Shipley takes it at the 33. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Cox was there for the stop. He did a good job there finding a seam and getting up the field. You know, a lot of people don't realize that being a punt returner or a kick returner is one of the toughest jobs in the NFL. There's a whole lot of things that could go wrong, and only a few that can really go right. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw, rolling out to his right, and they got him. He goes down again amidst a heavy pass rush. Yeah, that's something he's got to improve if he wants to reach the next level. It's almost like he takes himself out of the play the moment he hears footsteps. You just can't keep putting your team in a hole by taking sacks. Just throw it away. And not to mention, he takes an inordinate amount of hits. You know, that's a good point, Gus. The NFL is really geared to protect the quarterback, but when he has the ball, he's going to take some shots. So, at the end of three, our score, the Bengals, 23, the Jaguars, 20. The Bengals begin the fourth quarter with the ball, and they're up by a field goal. Surveys the field. Yeah, it wasn't close because the big guy was giving him a whack just as he let that one go. He was really under some pressure that time. He'll field it at the 17. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. He's going to get killed. Has a man to his right. 
Knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Very risky pass. You never want to try and throw the ball across your body like that. Players in this league will come up with interceptions on that one. Jabril Wilson was there to bring him down. MJD is able to make his fourth reception. Gabbert hands off on the delay. Jabril Wilson was there for the stop. Maurice Jones-Drew can see the field so well, and as a runner, you need to have that kind of vision to be successful. Dumps it out right. Jukes away, and he will be tackled. Lewis picks up about maybe four yards with the catch. Gabbert with the draw play. He's wrestled down right around the 36-yard line by Sims. Up the middle. Cuts back, and he's dropped. Fires a strike to the right. He drops the easy pick. Lewis was his intended target. Good coverage downfield. He's dropped, and that's a huge sack. Fifteen yard loss on the play. Signals for the fair catch at the 14. So, Chris, if you're the coach right now, what do you call in this situation? Big thing now is you have to keep possession of the ball and use up the clock. You can't have a three and out here. I still think that on this first down play is the best time to be aggressive with the offense. Go play action. You know they're going to be coming after you. See if you can pick up an early first down and get this drive going. He's tackled around the 31-yard line by Lawry. Looks upfield, and he's got room to run. A gain of six. The ball carrier on the play. Gain of six on the play. Delayed handoff, and he'll lose yardage on the play. It is just so difficult for offensive lines to account for the safety. Typically, that's the one free runner that you have, and if you have a top-flight safety back there that can come in and make those kinds of plays, it really helps your run defense. Short throw to the left. He lost it. Fumble. Offense gets it back and dodges a bullet. And you wonder why so many coaches have gray hair in this league. You think you're close to putting the game away, then you almost give it up. He's over there saying, please, guys, a little ball security. And the snap goes right to the back. He didn't get back to the line. Well, you know the safeties are going to attack the line of scrimmage against the run, but you just don't expect them to get there so soon that they're going to make the tackle in the backfield. Looks for the safe short throw. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line by Landry. Passes out to his right. Well, you have to admire his courage. He's not afraid to make any throw, any time, anywhere, but he's lucky that one wasn't picked off.
And it calls for the fair catch at the 12. Passes short right side. It's picked to the 10. He's in. Touchdown. And just like that, they make it a two-possession game. What a tremendous return that was. And even better, now you have a little breathing room when you look up at that scoreboard. The PAT is up and good. Nugent looks ready to kick it away. Number 35 stands back to field the kick. He'll return it from the six. The stop was made by number 51. They're going for the home run. Number 11 can't complete the pass. Second down. Looks right. Throws. And the tackle was made by Nate Clements. The quarterback is having some success with this matchup. What do you see here, Chris? Well, after a big game like that, the quarterback may try to target this guy for really the rest of the game. It'll be interesting to see how this matchup progresses now that he's found a bit of an opening. This is close. Did he come up with it? So after conferring, they give him the catch. And this is to draw them within a field goal. And he adds the point after. So, with over seven minutes left, here in the fourth quarter, our score, the Jaguars, 27, the Bengals, 30. Short throw to the right. Aaron Campman was there to bring him down. Gresham picks up maybe seven with that catch. Handoff on the draw. He fights forward to around the 29. Aaron Campman was there for the stop. He's dropped down around the 32-yard line by number 96. Look out, heavy pressure on him. He's brought down around the 40-yard line by Trent. Pick up of eight on the pass. He's dropped for a loss. Lawry has been on a collision course with the ball carriers. That takedown marking his fifth tackle. Still looking for an open man. Flips it out short to his left. Makes the grab. No signal yet. We'll see what they rule. Boy, I wasn't too sure about that one, but the officials got together and came to the conclusion that, yes, that was a good catch.
Benson gets it on a counter left. Number 32 on the run. One yard gain on the play. Searching for an open man. Moves to his right. He's searching for a receiver. The ball goes into the end zone. Touchback. They'll take over at the 20. As they come back onto the field, what are your thoughts on what they should do here to get back into this game? He's going to his right. Throws. The stop was made by Leon Hall. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Looking for a man. He's dragged down on the play. This has been just an unbelievable day for this defense. They have now recorded their seventh sack of the game. The defensive coordinator had a great plan coming into this one. He knew his defensive front was better than this offensive line. He is attacked consistently throughout this game, and it has just been too much for this offense. Goes through his progression. Tremendous job getting the ball out of there and into the hands of a teammate. The rush was closing fast, but really like any good quarterback, sometimes you may take a hit, you're going to be under pressure. You just have to stand in and make the play. He goes down. Sack. Three-yard loss on the play. Has a man to his right. He's loose and running strong. Knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. When you're facing a blitz, you're forced to make a quick read. He read it right and got good yardage out of it. They'll throw for the first. It's a quarterback sack. Loss of four on the play. Surveys the field. He tries to scramble. And he drops the short pick. I can't really second guess the call on the part of the offense there. They really felt like they needed to keep this drive alive, just didn't get it done. Hold on, there is a flag down. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Offense. And that flag was thrown in the neighborhood of Holden. Collins gets called for the hold. They can't bring him down, and now he's got room to run. Gashes the defense for a pickup of nine. You know you have a pretty special player at the running back position when despite the fact that they're run blitzing him now, he can still get out of there and still come up with a nice game. The halfback with the carry. Hammered in the backfield. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. They go with the run. 
He doesn't get back to the line. And with under one minute left in this ball game, they'll be forced to punt it away, clinging to this small lead. Fields the punt at the 19-yard line. Johnson was there to bring him down. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. Or he's going to get killed. Throws to his right. Pass is complete. He could run a while. Racing toward the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. They take a late lead. Extra point is good. Jacksonville holds a four-point lead. Under a minute left in the game. He brings it back to the 23. Mincy was there for the stop. Coverage downfield and looks left. Throws. Still looking for an open man. He's looking towards the left side. Paul Puzlozny was there to bring him down. This is a guy who is so good against the blitz. People try to come after him, but he has an ability inside that pocket to make a defender miss, sidestep somebody, buy a little time, and get that big completion. Searching for an open man. He's wrestled down around the 23-yard line by number 29. Looking, fires it to the left. They push him out of bounds, and now they have first and goal. He's searching for a receiver, and they got him. The Bengals will take their final timeout. Looking for a man. Here's a pass over the middle. He comes down with it. Touchdown. What a way to grab the lead. And this attempt will give them a three-point advantage. Point after is good. Cincinnati is up by three points. That wraps up this one. We have highlights next, so stick around. And let's take a look at the Gatorade Performer of the Game. 